Welcome to class 4 of Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. In today's class, we will discuss about intelligent agents basics. We will define agent and environment. We will see what are the terminologies related to agent. We will see what is good behavior and concept of rationality. This is how agent and environment looks like. There is an environment. To read the environment, there are sensors in the agent. And based on the current state of the environment, there are actuators to be applied back to the environment. For example, when there is a self-driving car, if it is moving and the car which is moving next to it applies a braking system. So this current car has to understand that through the rear side lights. Through the camera, it will understand that the car which is moving next to me has already applied braking system. So it will try to check what is a rule here. Based on the condition, it will check the rule and rule says that you also have to apply a braking system. So actuator that are initiated right now is braking system on the environment. Now let us start with some terms. Percept refers to understand the current state of the environment. Percept sequence means not only current sequence, you have to understand the information about the entire environment. Agent function means it is an internal table that comes with all those conditions and what are the rules that has to be applied on each and every condition. You can say that it is just an algorithm. Agent program means read the agent function and try to implement that on a real-time system in a real-time environment. So agent program means it is a program that actually does a task. Agent function means it is a logic or algorithm to make certain things happen. Next, take an example. There is a vacuum cleaner. There are two rooms A and B. Based on this agent function, program has to operate. What is the agent function now? It is, a, it is a table which contains conditions and the actions. Now first condition, if room A is clean, move to right side. If A is dirty, initiate cleaning action. If B is clean, then move to left side. If B is dirty, then initiate cleaning action. There are, there might be hundreds of actions depending on what is the current state. So this is the table which we also call it as agent function and this is agent program. Let us uh, see what is good behavior and concept of rationality. rationality. Already we know what is a rational agent. The agent that always does the right thing is called as rational agent and it depends on four different parameters. The performance major that defines criteria for the success. What is the agent's prior knowledge of environment? What is the action that agent can perform? And what is the percept sequence till date? So these four things are going to define the perfect rational agent. So definition is Rational agent is a one which should operate in the environment and try to see that it will optimize the performance. So the what is the intention of this agent? It should optimize that. Let us see some terms. Omniscience is an agent that knows actual outcome of its action and can act accordingly. It is like, you know, it is just like a human being. We know if I do this thing, what is going to happen? But building this omniscience agent is very, very complex. Information gathering. Rational agent should choose the looking action before stepping into the street because looking helps maximize the expected outcome. It should not directly jump to the environment. It should perceive what is the current state of the environment. When you are playing a chess, you have to see which move operation I have to uh, apply So based on the current uh, current uh, positions of the key right so that is information gathering learning learning is a event where you are going to completely perceive the environment autonomous autonomous is whenever there is incomplete knowledge or information given to the rational agent it is trying to complete it by its own by gathering the incomplete information to make it complete let us understand what is task environment. Whenever you are going to build an AI agent, obviously it is going to operate in the environment and it operates on the basis of rules that are set in the agent function. So let us take an example. 
uh, this uh, specifying task environment comes with four parameters performance environment actuators and sensors let us take an example taxi driver is a agent what are the performances safety is a first performance it should go fast it should be legally complete the trip it should maximize profit what is the meaning of maximize profit it has to find out the shortest distance so that fuel consumption should come down and it should see that without committing any mistakes it should move from source place to a destination place what is the environment where taxi operates roads what are other entities traffic lights pedestrians customers sometimes animals sometimes some uneven events that have already happened on the way right what are the actuators steering system if the car has to move left side obviously you have to apply steering system accelerator brake signal horn and display these are actuators what are the sensors now camera is a sensor sonar a speedometer gps odometer accelerometer engine sensor etc are the sensors so this is how you are going to specify a task environment now let us see some terminologies fully observable and partially observable if the sensor is able to capture a clear image of the movement that is happening in front of it we call it as fully observable partially observable means if if for example if it is having uh, raining heavily outside then the images will be unclear there will be lot of noise right so that is partially observable unobservable means you do not have camera to read what is happening for example you don't have eyes you cannot see anything okay single agent and multi agent it is like chessboard example we call it as you know multi agent because chess will be played between two different agents either it may be two different human beings or a human being versus computer but if you are trying to solve the puzzle game it is purely a single agent right next competitive multi agent environment example is again a chess game cooperative multi agent environment is example is taxi driving see vehicles move by cooperating with each other they will not move autonomously they will not you know basically apply the rules and move they are they are going to observe the environment and they are going to cooperate with each other that is one example for cooperative multi agent deterministic means what action you have taken right now if it influences the next a uh, state of the environment we call it as deterministic otherwise it is stochastic if the action i take right now if it doesn't change the environment it is stochastic uncertain uncertain is not fully observable or not deterministic non deterministic environment is you know uh, which uh, actions are characterized by their possible outcome but no probabilities are attached to it okay so non deterministic in the sense what action you take you will get the outcome that is it episodic episodic is uh, let us again take an example india has lost the match today it doesn't mean that it will lose next match also episodic it is a event on that particular time sequential environment it is like what decision you take now it is going to hamper the future decisions for example chess for example taxi driving so it is a sequential environment static versus dynamic if the environment can change while a agent is deliberating then we say environment is dynamic otherwise it is static that's it semi dynamic if the environment itself does not change with the passage of time but agent performance core changes that is semi dynamic so it is like dynamic agent is will make the environment change semi dynamic means environment may not change but agents performance will change discrete and continuous what is the discrete and continuous now discrete is like you know at at one point in a time it is not continuous continuous means cons it should be consistent taxi moving a taxi from source to destination is a continuous event discrete means you know 
at one particular task event happens and it may not happen next time that's it known and unknown what is known environment where the outcome and possibilities of environment are already known you know you you know what is the environment what is the current state what action you have to implement you know it so it becomes known otherwise it is unknown when you are creating a agent agent will come with architecture and its program let us uh, move on to the last part types of intelligent agent the first one is simple simple reflex agent second is model based reflex agent third is goal based agent and fourth one is utility based agent now let us take an example simple reflex agent is whenever car which is moving next to me applies braking system i read it through the sensor and i understand that it has applied a braking system for this state i'll check my function table function table says that you also have to apply a braking system initiate it so what is happening in the environment perceive it check the condition apply the rule it is simple simple reflex agent okay so th this is how the simple reflex agent looks like read the input percept that becomes state find out the rules in the function table through the current state and then apply the action action means the rule which is present in the table and you will get the uh, return uh, you, you you will get what is the action for that right so simple is simple as simple as that next becomes model based reflex agent what is model based reflex agent is you know it will have prior knowledge about environment and past history it will sense the sense it will sense the environment through sensor it has understood what is a current state now for this current state it will try to understand if i take this action what will happen to the environment what should be my proper action so it will not simply initiate the actuator it will try to make its decision on that for example when it is uh, you know when the rain is happening in a in a quite, quite uh, less amount of amount then pitch curator will he take a decision to cover the pitch and stop the play or continue the play and see looking at the environment and continue the play it is like that so it is not mechanical it is little bit intelligent compared to simple reflexive agent okay so it will try to study the environment based on the current state then it will initiate the actuator next goal based what is goal based now for example these are the agents that focus purely on reaching the goal let us assume that there is a taxi it will concentrate only on how to reach to the destination right so that is goal based agent now last one utility based agent what is utility based don't only focus on goal don't only uh, see that you have to reach the destination you have to see that you reach destination in quick time safely and you see that fuel consumption is also less profit should be more time taken should be less that is utility utility based agent so this is a example of utility based and a model based you know combination right so utility plus model based combination agents are going to operate perfectly in the environment because they have a set of rules and regulation and they have a knowledge base to understand which action i have to implement right now now last is learning agent how the learning agent looks like obviously agent is a entity that comes with sensor to understand what is happening in the environment find out the criteria for the current state okay then there will be learning environment or element that will change the performance of the element if the performance is not optimal then again send a feedback to learning element and see that it modifies based on this learning you are going to initiate actuator so this is how learning agent looks now this is a basic thing about intelligent agent this may not be a part of syllabus but you need information these terminologies to start with the next uh, topic with this i conclude thank you